AI is the undoubted buzzword of the year, but with the explosion of its applications and developments, it can be challenging to see the latest news in the field and especially where it stands in healthcare. So let's check the current landscape of AI in healthcare and explore what more can we expect in 2023. I'm Dr. Bertolon Meshku and you're watching The Medical Futurist. As artificial intelligence continues to disrupt and transform healthcare, the FDA, as the most forward-looking regulatory organization on the planet, has already approved a myriad of applications, marking crucial milestones and paving the way for AI applications to go from concept to the clinical use. The organization is working around the clock to keep up with the latest developments and get a grip on how to regulate an entire ecosystem of AI-driven medical applications. In addition, the FDA has been working towards development of a comprehensive database for AI-based healthcare technologies. Based on the study, we published creating the first open access database of this kind. This database serves as a repository of approved AI applications, providing crucial information about the, their intended use, effectiveness and safety. This move is a testament to the need for robust regulatory mechanisms to ensure its safe and effective use. But this year will also mark a major challenge for the FDA and any government body that wants to regulate AI. Up until now, we've only encountered locked, relatively simple algorithms that work from the data they were fed with. But adaptive algorithms are coming and they are going to completely change how we think of AI. The FDA's definition is that these algorithms change their behavior using a defined learning process, meaning the adaptive algorithms are self-learning programs, constantly changing, learning and evolving. For example, Google's diabetic retinopathy detection algorithm theoretically had an accuracy of 90%. In real-life clinical settings, it faced challenges due to varying image quality. However, an adaptive AI could learn to adjust to these conditions, delivering more accurate results as it trains itself to be better. Obviously, adaptive algorithms like that can revolutionize healthcare, but how can we regulate something that constantly grows and evolves? Imagine giving the green light to a product that changes a thousand times the next day. We never had a challenge like this, and it will be interesting to see how regulatory bodies will try to tackle the problem. At the American College of Radiology, an important development has been the introduction of instructions on how to submit studies, papers or scientific publications related to AI technology. Guidance is also provided on how radiologists should approach reading a study about AI. We will see such recommendations and guidelines implemented across all medical specialties, helping professionals better understand and utilize AI technologies in their respective fields. And now, Common large language models are due to have some regulations. Regulatory bodies worldwide are beginning to develop frameworks to govern the use of LLMs, focusing on ensuring safety, transparency, and accountability. While LLMs like ChatGPT seem harmless, the misuse of LLMs could lead to the spread of misinformation or even violate patient privacy rights. LLM regulation will probably be an entirely new category, distinct from the way other AI-based medical technologies have been regulated so far. All this confusion and challenges will most likely lead to bans, as we've seen in China, Russia, and even temporarily Italy. But the advantage AI could bring to healthcare far outweigh the hardships of adapting to this new technology. So attempts to block it will surely be short-lived. We will see companies and healthcare institutions integrating ChatGPT-like services into their businesses. We already found 16 examples of these and released an infographic of them. Microsoft and Amazon are among the biggest players in this field. Drug discovery is the Trojan horse for AI in pharma. I expect to see AI break into pharma this year through how effective it is in drug discovery and because of the amount of money that can be saved and made in the field. For example, Hong Kong-based biotech company Insilico Medicine is using AI to predict which molecules could become potential drugs, designing novel drug candidates in weeks instead of years. While the number of applied AI solutions will obviously increase in established areas like radiology and oncology and cardiology, 
we will finally see new ones such as mental health as well. This is exciting because even in fields rich in interactions and creative tasks that are less prone to automation, the use of AI will begin to emerge. New innovative models like paid subscribers can access an AI chatbot but are also routed to a human therapist if their queries escalate will be developed for these purposes. Millions of doctors, nurses and healthcare workers will experiment with various AI-based tools such as voice-to-text applications where they only need to review the output in medical records. This will lead to increased efficiency and adoption of AI in healthcare. There is a wide selection of AI-driven tools, many of them not strictly related to medicine or healthcare, that can help anyone in a wide range of tasks from building a website to creating videos, from designing presentations, to generating FAQ texts or emails. So overall, 2023 will be a challenging, frightening and exciting year. But I, for one, can't wait for this tech revolution to take all our medical knowledge and show us the solutions that were right in front of our eyes all along. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.